Podcast. It's Chris Mitchell here with a tip for Rhino. Uh, today we're going to type uh, text along a path or text along a curve, as Rhino does call it. Illustrator calls it text along a path. Um, first of all, we're going to do the, uh, you've got two paths here. You've got two curves. One is a line and one is a circle. We'll talk about that in just a second. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to type a text object command, uh, not text. You're going to do a text object. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you this in Arial so you can read it nice and clean. I've got some pre-typed text there. Uh, I'm going to put this up here, and I didn't group it intentionally to show you that you do have to group this. So I'm going to go ahead and do Command Group on that. Uh, you can go up to your uh, object and group it in uh, Rhino. I'm on a Mac, of course. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the length of this text to the length of that curve. That's 2.512. I'm just going to get it pretty close to 2.5. I don't have to worry about the whole thing. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this down here to the text. And it's kind of centered on that line there pretty well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type a flow command. And when you select an object to flow on a curve, that's my text object. Now I'm going to hit enter. Now the base curve, that is this curve right here, you want to select your base curve. So you want to select an object that follows the path of your normal text. There's my curve. And then I hear the tangent curve, and that's this one. And as you can see, it's inside the curve. Now if you just took this object and you rotated it, let's say I want to rotate it 20 degrees, it will be off center, so that's not going to work. If you need that text to rotate, select your outer curve as well, and now when you rotate it, it's going to continue to follow that path. Hope this has helped you out, and you guys have a great day.